he decided to fly out. <gasps> to here? Ooh. Kalani's new man is putting in a good fight for her love. So he texted me to come see him. And I spent the night there. And he's winning. <laughs> Sorry to Asuelu. I can fear something just not right at all. Kalani drops a bombshell, revealing she left the resort after the hall pass guy, Dallas, flew to Florida to see her. Meanwhile, Asuelu is left with the gut feeling that he's officially lost her. And I freaked out now. This is 90 Day Replay Travel Size, where I pack in all you need to know while keeping it light. Hey, 90 Day fans fam, it's Melicia. Last episode, Kalani revealed Asuelu cheated on her 10 to 12 times over the course of their relationship. The audacity. And hearing myself say that, I'm just disgusted with myself. But I would like ever allow myself to put someone above me and hurt me over and over and over. And just a year ago, she found out he was cheating with girls on the internet. He didn't physically cheat on me, but he'd reach out to different girls online. Then he would buy their naked pictures online. And then that led all the way up until Samoa, where he did the tongue thing and the job thing. So collectively, he's cheated like 10, 12 times. Ooh, Liz said it right. First of all, he's lucky he's even in the friend zone. If that's exactly what's going on, he's lucky to even have your friendship right now. I'm assuming it's only for the kids at this point. All right, let's get into the hall pass guy who Kalani seems to be falling for. Let's be real, she's already fallen. She's hit the ground. During their conversation, Liz brings him up and Kalani's reaction says it all. You so lit much. up right now and you just lit up. I know. Um, so his name is Dallas. Dallas. I've known him for like only two months. But we like Dallas. We like Dallas. <laughs> He's very sweet. He's like the first guy I've ever dated that actually reciprocates what I do. Like communication, feelings, like doing things for each other. If you remember, Kalani blocked Dallas because she wanted to give salvaging her relationship with Asuelu a full chance at the resort. But during this episode, she decides to unblock him after she suspects Asuelu is still up to no good. And then this morning, I see him open messages and he's like side-eyeing me and watching what I'm doing, but then he's like going this, like this, deleting messages. And then I'm like, what are you doing? And he turns his phone like this. He's like, oh, nothing. I'm just like going through my messages. Is he talking to people still? I don't know. He deleted like five or six messages. The fact that Asuelu decided to like be weird about deleting text messages in front of me just makes me feel uneasy about the whole thing. So I, it almost makes me feel like he is still sneaky. He just hasn't learned how to be successful at it. Which makes it even more annoying. It proves he has no business doing it. And honestly, instead of talking about rekindling their marriage, in my opinion, Asuelu should be talking to the therapist about why he's a serial cheater. Why does he continue to feel the need to seek out so many women? Let's get down to the root issue here. Once I saw him being shady this morning, I'm like, why am I being so careful to not talk to people if you're doing things like that and you can't even give me an honest answer? So then I unblocked him. And what comes next shocked me. The following morning, all we see is Asuelu acting like a nervous wreck because he can't find Kalani. I woke up this morning, I tried to contact Kalani. I texted her if she's here and she told me that she go out. She said having a breakfast. And I say where? And I, she didn't tell me. Her sister watched the kids, and she told me before that she can't sleep somewhere without sleeping with the kids. So I went to her sister's room, knocked the door, and she's, she's not there. And I freaked out now. It's just not 
I can feel something just not right at all. Come to find out, Asuelu's intuition was right on point. When Kalani gets back to the resort, she reveals to the ladies that Dallas, the hall pass guy, laid a move on her that, I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> it's pretty impressive. This morning, I saw Asuelu and he was kind of upset. What was going on? Once I saw him looking at his phone and deleting messages. It was a trigger. Yeah, That's even if he was innocent, even if it wasn't, it's like, I don't want to live my whole life thinking I'm getting exactly. cheated on. So once he did that, then I was like, all right. So then I unblocked him. Fair game. And because I did that, then that guy, like, let me know all of his real feelings once I unblocked him. And um, he decided to fly out <gasps> to here. So he texted me to come see him. And I spent the night there. Oh my God. Well, <laughs> I know. He flew out to see her. Talk about effort. <laughs> we love a nice display of effort. But on a serious, serious note, in my opinion, Kalani just needs to call it quits with Asuelu. At this point, she's openly cheating on her husband. And I don't condone cheating. I don't. But I think she should go with the new guy. He seems to be making her happy. At the same time, I get that ending long-term relationships can be tough. Waiting on whatever is lingering to end. It can literally feel like bondage until you build enough courage to choose freedom over the familiar. All right, next week, it looks like the pressure to make a decision hits Kalani hard. Having options isn't always easy. That's not what I want. <laughs> I didn't want this. This is the consequences he has to face and it shouldn't be your guilt. I just feel like I'm, I'm just gonna lose something no matter what I pick. Hmm. I say go with a choice where you don't end up losing you. And I think that choice is pretty clear. All right, 90 Day Fans fam, thanks for hanging with me. Make sure you stick with ET because we are covering it all. I will see you next time.